So we will go straight to where we're up to. Uh, this is just below the middle of the page, a couple of lines below. The line begins from the word Hamoso. Uh, so we went through. Three distinct, three di- madreyes of the nefesh in the goof. The initial slapshots of nefesh in the goof, where this is absolute. Then there is the machshove, which also must be constant, but <coughs> the constancy is only in the fact of the machshove not in the content of the machshava, you can change from one to the other. And then there is a third, dibut. With dibut, it does not even have the element of his constancy, it can, it can be interrupted. Uh, but th- there is this fine point that even though uh, the, that it's, it's a separate thing, still there is an anifut uh, ba'emes, as we explained, that from the perspective of emes, of truth, that which, the emes means that which provides the, the, the essential presence of Dibur. The emes, the emes, the emes is himotzi, like how the, the truth, the godly truth, that enables, that provides for all of this, for, for, for uh, all, all, all existence. Dibur is not Nifat Behemus. It's not, from that perspective, it is not even Nifat. In the Shmatis, his Spashtus or of Nefesh, it's when we come to, to Machshava that we say it's constant. And, and we don't say it by Seichel or Amidos. What does that reflect? Wait, 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 wait. Seichel Amidus is for sure constant. I know, but we don't emphasize it. Okay, okay, it's for sure. It's it's part of the nefesh. That it's not even it's not even it's not even full fledged his his in the goof. We're talking about something that's mislabish that becomes part of the goof. That's oasis and machshol. What, what are we emphasizing uh, in, in constancy? That this is that that the or remains reflected of the nefesh? That it's connected to the nefesh. The emphasis on constancy by Machshoda is due to the fact that it would appear to be not constant because it's a separate material. Where the mess, where the content, like Seichel Amidus, Seichel Amidus is nefesh. The goof does not have Seichel Amidus. Then you don't have to emphasize, hey, this is connected to the nefesh. The machshove, oisis of machshove, the letters of machshove, which, which <coughs> is an external presentation, and really 
is m- relates to goof, so to speak, more than to nefesh. Because oisiyas are, are essentially lifeless. And you need to present the seichel. So, so the constancy is it, it is is a uh, is is re- is a representation of the highest of the nefesh. It is a, is a, is a, is, a, is a representation of the connection to the nefesh. No, it's seichel seichel We say for sure this is constant, and the, the connection is there. And in the in Machshaba we have to stress. Right. You stress the connection to the Nefesh. The speech is connected but can be interrupted. Speech is a further step <coughs> that it can even be interrupted. And there we have to say, nevertheless, it's my word that in Dibur Ace also is in a Nifrut Ba'emes. Superficially, from, from the perspective of the actual relationship between speech and, deep and, and the Nefesh, it is Nifrut, because that's the end of, of speech. It's presented as a separate entity, and that is the only way that, that the listener can actually take it. Nevertheless, we're saying that there is an element that ain't a nifrit. The amos. As we explained yesterday, that the, the phenomenon of speech also uh, really um, ident- recognizes the difference between the speech is directed at the person or its speech in 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 um, in, 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 in un- indirect. Not directed, or directed to someone else. When it's directed to to a person, there is an inherent connection, even though it's exactly the same speech. Maybe that has to do with something outside of the speech itself. But that's a feature of speech, we say. This is what enables speech, right? The, And this is, and the raya for this is that the, it's not nifut be'emes is in the fact that he had deeper pale kibur behakiru bahazulus because he, I'm just going back because of the questions and the deeper affects a kiru the closeness for the by the other by the by the, by the um, outsider by the very fact that that they are talking that itself creates a, a closeness. If the Debo were just a presentation um, um, on, on, on an external level, there is no his pastus from the from the nefesh itself, then they wouldn't create any kind of kiruv. Is writing also in this category or that's different already? That's clearly different. Somebody who writes a letter to someone, it's separate, but it's creates a kiruv, and that's not helpful to think about. Um, the writing itself does not create a kiruv, because you're writing this on a piece of paper, and it becomes completely, the other person receives it Sometimes. indirectly. Right. Okay, let's, let's leave it at that for the moment. Um, so, uh, so Dibur has this quality, that on the one hand, it is mm-hmm. separate, mm-hmm. but in a nifrod be'emes, but there is an, an underlying truth that that shows that they're in fact, that, that is the, that, 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 that they're actually, it remains connected to. The ha-moshol, the his-pashtus ha-shem, the moshol, of his pastors Hashem Aleza Dobu, with the name, uh, going back to, to uh, most of the name, the name is Mispashit Aleza Dobu, is applied to some 
object. Harei zek moi hadibur. That is similar to the level of dibur. We, we said yesterday that that actually in Machshova, Eishes Machshova, there is also this similarity. The Ispashus Hashem Aliz in Dover, because of the fact that when the when it's Mispashit Aliz in Dover, it can be changed. That thing can remove that that can be removed, and and and, it, and it's sold to someone else. And the same thing is in Machshova. Nevertheless, we say that ultimately um, there is definitely a similarity <coughs> in in his Pasha Hashem Aleza Dover to Machshova. In the fact that it can be it can be um, removed, it can be altered. Nevertheless, so it, uh, this is the difference in Machshova and Dibur. And the fact that a machshava is mishoyteta stomit, machshava is is present constantly. So even though that particular machshava can be changed, but the, the element of machshava is mishoyteta stomit. So this is why we compare it to the to the name, because a person even if even if um, he sells a property, he still has this element that he can own property. This is Dinya Hashem, can own property. Nevertheless, we are saying that we're comparing this to Dibur rather than to than to Mashova. Because this Indian that he can own property does not have a real external presence. This is this is due to the presence of the person himself, to the reality of the person. This does not express itself in the, in, in, in the factual hispashtus. This is why, ultimately, we're comparing it to Dibur. In the fact that this object, even though it's owned by the person, can then be severed from him, and what remains? His ability to own it. But the connection is actually severed completely. Mm. Whereas a machshava, not only even if you if you if you if, if you change the thought, but you have to change it immediately to some other thought. Mm. You can't remain with the potential of thought. Mm. So that's what the Rebbe said right in the beginning, that we say that this union that mislab mislabish be is a dover. It's like Dibur. And this is the big thing, that even though this is like Dibur, Dibur is also in a Nifat Bermas. And there is a real connection between the, between the object and the owner of the object. This Pasha Hashem of Isidore. Yeah. The mikomokaim who lavuz had nivdom in hoetzim, because why is dibur like his pasuk Hashem aleja dover like spreading uh, to something external? Because even though we say dibur is not nifud beemes, but it's a nivda. Lavuz had nivdom in hoetzim. The lavuz is nivda. The lavuz itself, the garment itself, is separate from the yetz. There is an emes. This is what we explained yesterday. The term emes. There's an MS that correlates them, that connects them. I would like to to clarify what I'm emphasizing now, you know, as, as briefly. The, 
just as I hope I'm not I'm not going to lose you. Just as when we spoke about chayes anefesh in the goof, the goof is a levush, is a garment for chayes anefesh. There, the goof, the 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 the, the, the nefesh is mislabish in the goof, and it remains nefesh. It remains nefesh. In other words, the life element is not a goof. The, the goof comes to life as a result of the truth of the nefesh present in there. The goof becomes completely bottled and it lives because the nefesh is in it. That's what he did. That means that there is an element of truth of this chayas. The truth of the nefesh. Um, is, 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 is present in the goof, and this is why he lives. And this is why we have seichel and midas, we can understand things, which is a nefesh um, experience, not a goof experience. We can even understand things that the goof cannot even relate to. Like we said, one-on-one, -on -one, from the goof perspective, is one-on-one. -on -one. It is only a nefesh concept that uh, that it's two. It's a seichel again, it's a ruchnis again, because a nefesh is present in the goof. And we understand because of the nefesh quality rather than the goof quality. Similarly, this reality, this, so to speak, Emma's quality follows through throughout all the koiches and nefesh, all the way down to the dibur. All the way down to the dibur. Like we said, said a while ago, not very long ago, we spoke about uh, we spoke about travel. We spoke about we spoke about what? Travel. 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 We spoke about uh, about the the invention of the car. So the car is, as we explained then, is a complex um, um, machine. And ultimately, it, um, it, it, its design allows it to move, and it can move people. The movement of people did not result as a, as a result of the presence of the car. It came the opposite way. Because people have always this is the nature of the human being, that he is in the world and he relates to the entire world. And therefore, to be able to, to he always corresponds, he always correlates throughout the entire world. Car is the, the is a, is the, uh, the, 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 the exact, the, exact, the, the fluctuation of that. The vehicle, literally. What? The vehicle. The manifestation. It's that which which actualizes it. This brings right. out the, those that that principal truth in the human being. But there's a truth to it, which is why we say when we when we make cars and they build the cars and in. in, in to a perfection, and what, and all they do, these cars are going in circles and just run, uh, rush around the circle, is a complete mis mis misnomer, misinterpretation of, what, of where that's, that, it's losing the whole spirit of what a car is, the human spirit. That's not what, that's not where it is born. Okay. What, what was that all to explain? Uh, what was that to... Uh, to explain the, the principle of emis. Even though this is an external thing. But there is an inherent truth that follows through it. This truth is independent, so to speak. Like you say, you can take the car and completely lose sense of what, it, what it's about.
And the same is his passions are shame alayza dove, and names apply to some object. Also it seems to be like two separate entities. But I mean there is a there is an inherent connection. There's a reason why the name can correlate the object to the person. Because there's a certain quality in the person of ownership, of, of being able to relate to, to everything in the world, of a presence. And the same thing is in Dibu. What enables a real Dibu, not making sounds, but speaking directly to the person, is, is an inherent connection. It's an actus amongst the people, about an inherent actus amongst the people. This is why the whole the whole thing find that in my mind. not inherent actus among the people, inherent actus in all existence. Speech, in, in order to connect with the other person, is because it's coming through the nefesh, or because the person has, so to speak, accessed his nefesh. He's he's put himself into the speech. I I thought you made an emphasis, uh, rather than not only that it's coming as a flow from the nefesh. There's some uh, perhaps effort of the person to to reach the other, the Zulas. Why? Why? Because he, he, he senses an inherent connection. This is the Emma's sound. This is the Emma's This is just following through with the initial nefesh. The initial reality. That's why we say a person who is connected to the Hagla dog, it's an anomaly. It's an artificial created thing. It's a, it's a, not the, there's, it lacks the, the, the emis, the human truth. actually in my question because it's a, an actus amongst all of existence what happens when a person talks to an animal that's the, we, we say that's a, there, that is Nifra of course it's Nifra he's not in his category he's connected to him with a stick not with Debo it's something that he owns only it's like a thing yeah Ah, okay. So his pastor, Hashem Aleyhi Zedob, Aleyhi Zedob, Kmei Hadibu, the Mikomokim, who lovus ha nivl min ho etzah. That even so, that we pointed out that Dibu is not nifl be'emes, but still, it's a lovush that is nivdal from the etzim. It's a garment that is separate from the etzim in order to speak. The etzim, the, the oil hanefesh, the seichel, has to come down to such a level where it can, it can, become, it can be uh, defined as a separate entity, <coughs> even without uh, the oil haseichel, the mitzvah is haseichel, and that is when it can, when it can be established in the in the in the in dibur, because dibur is on who's anif Ah, Mitzir Sadibor is that is that uh, separation? That's where it's separate. This table and this table are two separate tables, but there is still a a, a relationship between them. The Amos, they are they are not different than the Amos. 
not only because they're both tables, not only because they're within five feet of each other, but because they're both in the Bismedrash. All right, let's continue right there. Ah, ha of the goo for Machshava with Dibus. Except, we, we have now, what we, we did in this parenthesis is, is, is found a parallel between the Moshal of the shame, the name, and a completely different phenomenon, the Moshal of the Nishom and Mislavish and the Goof and Machshava with Dibur. So he says, Ah, however, ha Moshal, the Goof of Machshava with Dibur. The Moshal that we spoke about now, the Goof of Machshava with Dibur, who became that Moshal is at the level of Kaili. The goof is a Kaili Hanefesh. Mashobo Dibud is a Kaili of the Nefesh. Okamaimer, and as the saying in the Zoya is, come a goofing to kill a slave. Many goofing bodies you have, you have, you have prepared for the spheres. The call Yal Ha Kaili, the Essa sphere is that she lose, which, um, which refers to the Kaili of the Essa sphere. So that's a common goof and call a kalim the SS feel of that silos. Or Marshov, this is the kalim for the SS feelers from Chokhmah and Bina and so forth. Marshov and Dibur, hey, Brio and Yitzir. Marshov and Dibur are also kalim, and this is in the world of Bria and Yitzir. So in, overall, this is all in kalim. The goof is the kalim at the level of SS feel of that silos. And Mashal of Dibur is a key at the level of Bria and Sir. The Mashal, the shame, but then the Mashal that he originally pre- presented of the name, who bevchinas ho oir, is in the oir aspect. The name of a person is not a is is not a is not a tangible entity at all. The name of a person, and, and we discussed many times, why why does he have a name? There is not there is not a a presence. He has a name because of the truth of his own mitzvahs, because of the atzmus. This is called the oir. So the new name Bibchinos Oir is an aspect of Oir. Of the it is imperative. We have to understand clearly. That there is not similar. The, whole, the principle of Dveikus, the way it is in the Oir versus the way it is in the Kate. The principle of Vegas in Oyer is a different, is on a different, is not comparable to the principle of Vegas in the cave. Why is this a hechrich? Okay, and here's where we have to try and follow the logic. Shaharei hu bivchinas Oyer. Since that, this dveikus in, um, in oir is bivchinas oir, is an asmen as aspect of oir. By definition, it is a different kind of dveikus. Why? Shezehu aliyahad dveikus davke, the whole mitzvah of oir is a dveikus element. Why is that oir? Because of dveikus. So the oir by definition is dovuk. And you, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, whoever you are, please mute your phone. Thank you. Oir, by virtue of what it is, it is it has a, it, it is the near vacus. And then we say that there is different levels of vacus. The, uh, the shemo etzem, 
and the same the same as uh, the same as um, as it applies to to it applies to some to an external uh, thing, but we talk about oil in general, and oil by definition what what in, what brings oil out what is the presence of oil in his vehicles. Oil is behind his vehicles. Oil is present because the atom is present. Whereas in Kalim, Kalim is a Metzius and Bifni Atzum. Or Kamesian is Boyle Yil, as we explained earlier, that air, oil is different than Kalim to begin with. In, 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 its very, in its very initial presence. That air, whatever you find oil, has an infant vacuus. Therefore, when we talk about the vacuus of shame, we talk about the vacuus of Kalim of of, of Levushim, of Goof and Machshav Dibur Ma'isim. Machshav Dibur, you meant to, to that point. We found similarities, but the similarities are only on the on the functional level, on the external level. Relative Dibur, relative to Machshav, Machshav relative to Goof is a different kind of of the vacuous. and there is an element of vacuous. But in essence, if you compare and 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 this, these similarities are similar to the differences in the various levels of, of the name of shame. But in essence, shame is a completely different vehicle to the person than than uh, than the machshav of Indibur and the goof. So this is alavu, this is alavu, a keili, and this is and this is oh, yeah. So we have to understand, oil is, the, in its initial being is at vacuous. There is no metzius of oil, but the metzius of the atom. And it, it emanates from the truth of the metzius of the atom, but, in, uh, but there's nothing to, there's nothing to, to grab onto, independent of the atom. Whereas in Kalim, there is something to take. They have to then further explain that there is a connection. Mekosh came by oil and so she from the Hatsim to and then surely they go back and talk about air and so she from the Hatsim to Gamadreyo Hayeser Achareino Shebo Oir even the the furthest level of Madre of Oir the infant his pastors Oir Hareza Bibchin as the vehicles by M. It is, it is, it has an element of, of vacuous, but Amos in a, in a, in an absolute sense of vacuous, even though this is already oil and, um, and in his passion. Okay. So this is it for this morning. Be well. Have a good day. His passion is oil within oil with me at Simpson. Right. No, 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 no. Nina, no, 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 Nina na 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 Nina na 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 Nina na 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 Nina 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 na 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 na